Patrick serves as superintendent of Hamilton Farm Golf Club in Gladstone, New Jersey. It's been here for four years. Um, the history of it is it was designed to be an extremely private club. On the tees and uh, fairways we have L93 and on the greens we have A4, uh, all which of course we know is bent grass. Rough is bluegrass and then the uh, secondary rough is a uh, fine fescue. Weather conditions along the eastern United States this summer became a sizable challenge for superintendents as heat and humidity created an environment ripe for Pythium outbreaks. The New Jersey area and uh, just, just and all up and down the east coast, it's the worst weather we've had in a long time. You know, even the veterans say uh, they haven't seen this type of weather you know, in years. It's make or break uh, the last couple of months. Uh, we're, it seems like we're starting to come out of it right now, but uh, when we had the HSBC tournament about a week before that, until now, uh, we had very high humidity days, you know, 80 plus percent uh, humi humidity every day and night uh, on average, <laughs> uh, and high temps. And we probably had 35 days, 90 degrees and above. So uh, it was a very difficult year. Right now, of course, we're using the fungicides uh, in the fairways itself. We're using uh, subdue, you know, methanoxin, uh, iperdion, or uh, uh, chlorothionyls, uh, clarys, and uh, that's the th and uh, foliar phosphates during the height of the season, which is you know July, you know, late June, July, August. Greens will go 10 days. Uh, we might push it a little bit after that. Uh, Tees around there, uh, give or take. But fairways, we always go like, we try to spray every 14 days uh, on the years previous. This year, it's very a normal year with these desirable disease conditions which we have. We're spraying our fairways every seven days in our greens six to seven days. And that is, goes with teas the same. With a high disease pressure environment, Tim immediately saw the potential for sink as a safeguard, ensuring fungicide efficacy at the end of his spray interval. He summed up his experience field testing the fungicide activator. For one, I think it'd be a good product because when superintendent like myself, you could have great conditions for up to, you know, 10 days straight. And then, you know, you can get a, you know, vast quality of rain. And the humidity will come after that. Once you have, you know, these wet conditions, you know, you're, you're opening yourself up to, you know, Pythium, of course, but, you know, around here, especially this course, the brown patch. And now we're, you know, you're 10 days out of spray, you know, and uh, you're dealing with uh, brown patch conditions. And you can't go out there and spray because spray rigs can't get out there. Now, if you say you put this product out with your last spray, you know, it's going to stretch your uh, interval and you'll get 14 days, you know, maybe 14 days plus in high disease conditions. The ability for reduced spray carrier water volumes was also a benefit that Tim believed holds much potential in reducing labor and keeping ahead of play. It's uh, definitely a plus. The uh, reason it's a plus is that uh, this is the, take, take this course. If you're on number 16, and you got golf out there, it's gonna take you a good, you know, 10 minutes just to come back and mix, and then another 10 to 15 if you run back. Well, I think this is one type of product, you know, if, if the testing goes right and the results are there, this is one product that uh, Superintendent should definitely look, look at in the near future.